Good afternoon and welcome to WBA Sports Park for the FMG Championship Grand Final. Jindalup Brothers taking on University. We've just seen a, seen a cracking game in the reserves, Division 1. Extra time. Cottersley claiming it in the last 60 seconds with a try in the corner. We can only hope this one will be just as enthralling. Big, big hit there from Jindal up. They've turned this ball over early. Now their chance to push into uni territory. Got to come out here. Gone the kick. That ball will just sit up for the fullback and he'll hit straight back from where it came from, although it doesn't go out. Give the brothers another opportunity. They go inside. The 15 shows some tether out. On the far side now, inside ball. Some flash looking movements there from Journal Up. Happy to test the line. Again, they're going to come out far here, but he's lost the handle on that one. Uni will clean up. He needs some support. Passes to no one. It will come back, however, for the loss forward. Referee Sam Jones today. The man officiating in the middle. So first scrum for today. And the students feed. The penultimate game here on Field 1. The Premiership final coming up at 4.20. Make sure you tune in for that if you're not already here. Crouch! Find! Set! Straight down. So not a great start for the first scrum. The field looking an absolute picture today. Crouch! Find! Catch! Connor Hughes puts it in. Nil all draw there. Although almost lost the handle. That comes out now into the centre of the ground. Ducks in board. Tried to take on the tackler. We don't have complete numbers. That was, I think that was Tuelli. Go, 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 go. Guys, the quick kick. Looking for touch. It will hold up. And the fullback sends it back to where it came from. So just on halfway. The first line out of the game. Ball looked good, taken in the air by Parrott. They're going back inside again, looking to use the width of the field. Number seven, O'Sullivan. Got some assistance there with a the block. So we'll have another scrum right on the logo. So scrums aren't doing too well so far. Get out, get out, get out, get out. 
So Clay and Ewan will be able to gain some territory here for his side. And that'll land just outside the 22. So the brothers get to put together a first attack of 4A inside uni territory. Well, that one goes inside. Ewan decides to test the line. Going to come out here to the broadcast end. No. Again. Couldn't get the arms free. Just slowing it down. Tiddle up. Happy to take their time. Quick pass there from Ewan. I'll go out on that far side. Just found the handle on it. Did Hemi. And he's almost through. White shows some toe. Just happy to test the line. They've got to go long. No, just taken. Terrible pass. Made it look good. I don't know what Ewan was doing there. Passed it behind his back. It will come back for a penalty, though. So they'll move the ball when they want to. The brothers. So, Vorster just having a chat. No, gives the ball to Ewan and they'll got to go for touch. So, great opportunity here for first points for Jindal up. Five out. Just a quick consultation. Brothers are a bit slow to get to the line out. Sloppy line out, one by UWA at the back. Not like I saw that took that. Not much space to kick in. It will just find touch. Goes short, taken by Rabaro. Straight into a rolling ball. That's a good drive there from the brothers. They've gained seven odd metres. Slow ball again, the 13. Zeitzman tests the line. They're going to go back outside and it's going to come back for the advantage. Not coming through the gate. And again, the brothers will test pepper this far touch line and reset and go again. So again, they just not don't seem to be in a hurry when it comes to these lineouts. It is a nice summer's day, or spring day, I should say. Quite warm down here at McGillivray. That again is a terrible lineout from the brothers, taken at the back by Uni. That was Taylor, the, the skipper. I'll go back, try and find touch. That will hold up, and it hasn't found touch. And Jindalup will get a chance to run it back. Games galore going on today. You can hear that, the field behind us. Community grade rugby behind us. Right now we're all on field one here. Quick inboard ball. Ball's available. Jindalup will use it. The skipper for Jindalup. Tried to test line, can't find a way through there. Just grabbed by the boot laces. Forster looked left foot right, then went left. Big pick up there. Zeisman, like a rag doll. 
Morissette tries, gets through one, can't get through the second. Ball's out. Just managed to grab it. Ewan again, the playmaker. Well read there by Higo. They've got some metres now. They've got to let the ball go here, though. They've got to go out the fullback now. They found some space, but good read there from the students. Closed down what could have been a try scoring run. Ewan again shows some fancy footwork. Just going across the field, not making much leeway into territory here. Phillips. Uni defence holding up well. Again, happy to test the line. Zeisman's taken by the legs. Happy to put the faces on Jinlap. They've gone looking for a gap. He's got through. Has Hemi. Ball's lost forward though. And we've got, do we have a player down? No, just tying some bootlaces by looks of things. It is quite a warm day. As we mentioned, we had the Premier, the Division One reserves game go to extra time. Cottesloe winning it in the last minute with a, a try in the corner inside the last 60 seconds. But there were players going down everywhere with cramp. It's just, just hot enough to, you're not supplementing the fluids all day. You might find it tough towards the back end. Just a slight breeze blowing across the ground from the left-hand corner. Again, that's the community grade we can hear, and it sounds like there's a try scored over there. Still no score here, of course. Quinana Wolves, if you're interested, have just opened up a decent lead against the Perth Irish on field two. Crouch! Set. Here we go. Uni feed. Good push from the students, but immediately taken. Clear up. Now, University get to relieve some pressure. They'll still be inside. No, the ball didn't go out. So not great kicking from the students so far today. That was lost forward there by King. Just sort of punched it in the air. So now, Uni, we get a chance inside Brothers territory. Nil all still, we've played 14. Big crowd there, as you see on the hill. Join the shade. It's glorious spring day. Another, oh, that, that ball came out and picked up immediately by the nine for Jinlap. He's gained about 15, 20 metres there, Vorstar. Needs some support though, it comes in the end. Again, they're happy to slow this down, the brothers. Test the line. And it's a big ball, well, it's taken down immediately. That should be, and it is, penalty. So the only game to feature UWA 
of course, we're at UWA to home ground. The only game to feature them or a side today, this one. They've been fantastic hosts up to today, up to this point. Crutch. Best place to watch rugby, of course, Five. in Western Australia, here on the hill. Scrub down again. Let's see if Uni can do a bit better this time. Pulls out. They'll try and run it well read by the 12, the skipper for a Brothers, and that comes loose. No advantage for a knock on, and we'll come back. Just asking. Just asking if why that wasn't called. The referee said it went backwards after that big hit. Scrum down again. We haven't had much running rugby so far. The referee's found another penalty. Wanted a quick ball there. Did Jindal up. Got the tap. Speeds around. No, no. Referee says come back. You've got to go over the mark. And call time off. Now we do have time off in this division. We haven't for the first two games. So we'll just let the clock run however. On the setup, you have to be very stable and square. At the moment, you're not. So if okay, we're square that's what and then he comes in. Yeah, then that's on you have to be square on the setup right, so and we'll then go forward. Square at the start. And go forward. Definitely. Yep. And Jack, I don't need the other people coming up and a chat to me. Okay. Other yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank you. So referee Sam Jones voicing his frustration as uh, as yeah, yeah. we have, or I have. I'm sure you have at home as well with the state of the scrums thus far. So he's just giving him a second, or well, last warning, I should suggest. Get your setups right. And stop the chatter. Go, Jindal, I've got to run it now. Stop, Just holds the pass. Reed drew that very well. Big smash. Went straight through, did the fullback. Bone shattering. They'll come back inside. Well read by the students. Jindal have got advantage here. Oh, I should say, Uni have advantage. That'll be offside. You can hear the play there. It was taken by Vorstar when he was in an offside position. And you just need to get some territory here. They've been we've played 20 minutes inside their own half. Jindalup been dictating the play so far. And here we go, only the second or third venture inside Brothers Territory. Line out to a bit, been a bit rabid. 
This one's better from Uni. They go straight into the wall. It's a good drive, good push from the students. Although, this could be a turnover here. He took the ball to ground. So not the most entertaining rugby so far. Still waiting for our first score in, score in this championship division grand final. Jindal up, looking to run the ball, goes wide. Drawn the man. Quick toe, taken around the boot laces. Good tackle there from the students. On far, they've gone the box kick, I don't know why. The 11 will immediately put that on the toe, Sharwood, and send it back to where it came from. So not exactly imaginary, inventive rugby at the moment. Another line out, Jindalup's line outs have been terrible. That one's better. Sixteen's three. He's not contesting at the ruck. Four. Ducks his head, he'll test the line. Looks for something, does Vorster. Changed his mind, goes to the left. The captain shows some toe. They've gone out that far side. They like running down there. Looks like they'll score the first one. Hemi had to tiptoe across, or along the line, I should say. Managed to stay in, though, and he'll score the first major for the brothers. Took us 22 minutes. But Jindal up. Five points up with a kick to come. And there we have our first score. So when they do move the ball, Jindal up, they're an exciting team to watch. So far, they've liked that far yeah. Number two, Ford line. Ford Hemi. Got the wheels of a Ford Hemi as well. Down that far side. Not much of a breeze to speak to, speak of here. So, just about accuracy. Just nurses that through and extends the advantage by two points. Alright, what can Uni do in response? They've been camped inside Jinlab's territory for most of this first half. Stop, no, it's coming. Ready to slide, ready to slide. Bit of a chip kick over the top from Vorster. He'll come straight back. The agency of Van Diemen. The fullback for Uni. He's got to go out wide. The show and go from O'Sullivan. Pass to no one. Luckily, it's cleaned up there on the far edge. Tackle! Tackle! 
They'll go inboard now. The headgear of Conor O'Sullivan. You can't miss him. Alistair Cockman now with a good run. Putting together, so I was just about to say, putting together some good phases here. Uni, just the quick kick. This is penalty advantage, though. It'll come back. Number three. Jean Pierre Mosset. I make no apologies for pronunciations this afternoon. I learned all of them from our uh, main caller. He's currently taking a break, so send your complaints to him. Nick Neary at rugbywa.com. And you need to, go to take the points, which is a good option when you've only been inside Jinnalup's half once inside or twice inside 26 odd minutes. Take what is given to you on a platter. It kicks that well. And three points, narrows the gap. Successful penalty there by UWA number nine, Connor Hughes. Closes the gap a little. Sinlap Brothers, seven, UWA, three. Yeah. 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 High kick from the brothers, take it well, goes backwards and it'll come straight to us, we might get a touch here, won't find touch though, awkward bounce for the 16, he'll go backwards, the 15, full back for Jindalup, he's been in a bit so far, just outside halfway almost, another kick from Jindalup, I like putting it on the toe, playing a bit of ping pong at the moment. Down that far corner again. Get his chance to find some territory here. Well read by the brothers. They go back. Another kick. Ball in hand, boys. That'll hold up. Good run there from the 11, though, Sherwood. Didn't have much support. And again, the ball's kicked back from where it came. Just stays. No, it won't. No, it won't. The 15, Van Diemen lost the handle on that. In the end, a lucky bounce for Gina Lup. Unlucky for Uni, and they've got a really good attacking position here. Lineouts have been a bit iffy for both sides. Good line out from Uni wasn't, or didn't seem to be contested much from Jindal up. 13 finds some space. And again, another kick, and that won't find touch either. Taken by the 14. Phillips stays in board. And this man again, the 15, the fullback for Jindal up. has been in it. Good driving tackle. Pushes him back. They've got to come out here to the broadcast side. Almost taken. Another good tackle from the 11, although he couldn't hold on. Sharwood. Okay, playing advantage here, and he's dropped that, so we'll come back for the first knock on.
just past the half hour mark. Dinlup will run it down that left edge again. They like it down there. Good, quick hands. That ball, however, has gone straight to the bread basket of a new player and an out, I think. So, knocked on. Need a touch. So, scrub down uni feet. There's uh, Quinana on field two, put another one on. Big advantage out there for them. I think they'll be 20 odd points up against Perth Irish in that game. So no, no one, again, no one in much of a rush to get this scrum pack. Deja vu again. So much about that. <laughs> so the, the wind's just picked up as he's kicked that, actually. So he's gained about oh, six metres, seven metres. Uni have not looked likely so far in this first 30-odd. In fact, I don't know if they've been inside Ginnelove's 22. Another interesting line out. Uni, however, come up with it. Taken by the skipper, Taylor, at the bottom. They'll go in board here, almost read well. Grabs the coattails. They'll go out the far edge again. Test the line, almost gets through. Taken on the fingertips. Good leg drive. They'll run wide here. He just needs to free his hands. He just probably took a little bit long there in the pass to Sherwood. Ball is out. Driven off. And then Clay Ewan says, thank you very much. I'll have it. And he's off. He's off. He's going to go all the way. That was shocking from University. It was like watching a car crash. You could see it happening and everyone stopped to watch. And Clay Ewan was the only one that said, hey, this was mine, I'll take this, and off he went. And the brothers extend their lead. Just in the shadows of half time. So I don't know whether you can hear that, just the Sam Jones is having a chat to his assistants. I think just explaining what he saw. And Ewan gets an opportunity to convert his own try. And he's got it. Handy 11 point advantage in the shadows of half time. 
We just had a card to play in the first half of the FMV Championship. First grade, big one. Yeah, plenty of chips. So can Uni find something because they've had nothing so far. Not much of a chase on this. Again, the 11. He's been doing all the chases so far, Sharwood. First of the contest. I think this is a fine touch just next to our commentary position. Long line out. Oh, inside, outside pass. Didn't quite come off though. They'll go to that far edge again. The students, well read by Tindall up. They need something here, the students. Again, well read. The boot laces, Conor O'Sullivan taking down the PG Hampshire winner. Not a much imagination here from the students. Back, short pass. I'll use. They've got overlap here if they can use it. The 12 draws the man, but he immediately gives it up. <laughs> so, somewhat of a lucky break there for the students. Just a little slow in their ball movement at the moment. And this is their genuine first real opportunity for attacking points in this first half. We've got about probably five minutes with some injury time to be added. Uni would be desperate for some points heading into half time. They go straight into a mall that's collapsed immediately. Tries the pick and go. They're a bit far out at the moment. They go to the middle of the ground. Sullivan taken immediately. Ball comes out, goes backward though. In two minds. He's a, there again. There's a contest on the ground. This ball might be turned over. It is. No. On the mark, on the mark. There's a call for the call for points. And you know what? Given how Yiddy's been so far, I'd be taking the points as well. Sure. And they're gonna have a shot. So a chance to put some more points on, narrow the gap a little bit, heading into the sheds for half time and it's a good decision, given they haven't looked likely to get over that try line so far. So 14 to six, probably three, four minutes to play with. Some injury time there to be added. Just had a bit of cloud cover. First cloud cover for the day. A little bit cold actually. Temperatures dropped a couple of degrees. Deep kick there from Jindal up. Well taken. At the back by Taylor, the, the skipper. Sam Jones is playing advantage, not sure what for, just a little bit chip kick over the top. Sullivan here was trying to get on the end of it, but it will come back. There you go, there you go, number four, not releasing. 
Probably got what, two minutes, I think he said. There you go. So. And you might get a, we'll get a touch. No, just over our heads. Oh, watch front, watch front, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seven. Yes. Well taken. Again by the skipper. They'll use the length of the field. Will the students, they're running the ball here. They're looking better now. This is a great run from the fullback, is it? Now they're inside the gin up half. 17 tucks and goes as Siebert. Sloppy pass, cleaned up at the back there. Oh, he just goes again, does he, the three? Going inboard now. Sieber had to take them from behind him. Again, make some good meter This is some good faces here. The students are stringing together. Bit of a chip kick. Probably a little bit too much on it. The fullback taken down in a big tackle box kick again from the nine. He'll just happy for that to find touch, and that'll be half time. So 14 to 6. Jittle up leading. We'll be back after this.
Welcome back for the second half. <laughs> FMJ Championship Division Grand Final. If you've just joined us. Uni just managed to put some extra points on the board just before half time. But it's pretty much been all gentle up in that first 40. And he looks like they've come out with a bit more vigour in this second stanza. The 13 tucks it under his arm, goes for a run. They like that light, that far side there. Goes in board. Oh, just taken by the boot laces. Great tackle there. They Sullivan, the PG Hampshire winner. Looking for something. He's almost got through the number six. And we're coming back for something. And the referee is looking, and it's a card. I'm not sure what for. Cynical, so general up a down a man. So a great opportunity for the students to take advantage of here. 15 on 14. Jinlop's making a change after that card. <laughs> On comes the 18, Yates. So a good attacking opportunity here for the students. Fine! It's John Pierre Mosset, who is sitting down for 10 for Diddle Up on the end of that yellow card. I've seen a few yellow cards today in the grand finals. In the reserve game, Connorsley almost lost the premiership because of too late. Yellow cards. Crouch! Oh. Good strong drive there from Juno up. The ball's out. The ball will be turned over. So every time the students look like they've got swinging something together, just a silly handling error at the last line. Takes the pressure off. Long pass. Draws the man. Over at that long edge. 
quick kick. Got a bit of height, shocking bounce. Taken well by Sullivan. At least taken the ball. 20 odd metres back inside Jindal up territory. Almost the turnover. O'Sullivan shows some toe. He goes again. He's got held. And there you see why he was voted the best player in this competition. The first major for the students. He's got some good wheels, he does. So, at 11, playing 14 with a kick to come. It'll be a tough kick, but a chance to narrow this lead to just one. Perfect response from the home side to this second stanza. picked up a bit, needing someone to hold the ball. It'll be a tough kick. Ness is it. Just wide. So three points the advantage to Jindal up. Of course, the big dance coming up at 4.10. Premiership decider. Battle of Broom Street, take two. Associates and Cottesloe should be an absolute cracker. If you're not doing anything this afternoon, come down. You see some great rugby. That's the skipper, Ben Taylor. Go out long here and look for the boot. And I'll go straight down the throat of the 16. Run! For Jindal up. There you go to run. Big, huge bash. Oscar Anderson put his body on the line there. But held up the run, which was the most important thing. You're looking a bit more willing in this second half. Interesting choice there. The run from Jindal up. Quite happy to test the line, the brothers. Driven back. Just treading water, other brothers. Tries to draw a man, thought about it, the 12, couldn't get his hands free. Again, I've dropped that, and that's the danger. You don't play a magic of rugby, you end up doing something like that, so. It's in a dangerous position as well for the students. You need ringing the changes, so DeGraff is coming up, not who's coming on. Actually, we got a DeGraff and the 20s on. I'll wait for him to turn around. I'm sure who's coming off here. Looks worse for wear though. That's the skipper actually, Ben Taylor. He's looking a bit proppy there on his on his left. He's fought well for his side. Hopefully the rest of his teammates can do the job without him. 
Sun's out again. And it's quite hot when it's when it's shining today. So scrums have been questionable. This one's okay. Ball is out. Goes around the back. Shows some toe. Gets past the second. Can't get past the third. Jittel up now with the advantage inside Uni Territory. They'll go the kick, see what they can get. Still playing advantage, well taken over on the far side, but they'll come back. No advantage there. Number 19. Just on the 22 now. Brothers first 4-8 into attack this half. <coughs> Jill up of course still playing a man down. He should be on. Off I should say. Another few minutes. Just try to get out of their own zone. <laughs> Referee's found something. Another one to doodle up. It looks like the number three is now back on. So doodle up back to 15 men. Fourteen plays eleven. Championship division. Fortescue rugby. Tindle up. Quick ball. 12 couldn't find space though. They'll go out this far edge and he's. Oh! Oscar Anderson thought he was away. Read it very well. Just didn't his time his run. And Tindle up, we got to have a shot. Trying to extend his advantage, advantage further.
And he's kicked that. So the advantage out by three more, six points. Plenty of scrums this game. So those that are interested, Quinana have beaten Perth Irish in the community grade. And they, have been, they are going to be crowned premiers. They're just celebrating having here in the background. I'll keep an eye. That's why I come on. Reds, yeah, Reds. Coach! Find! Set! Push in, push in, push in. Stolen. The number 10, Rory O'Sullivan. He can, oh, just taken down, needs some support, needs to get it out. Great run there. The other O'Sullivan. Connor, is he down? Time off. Nick Neary is saying he scored. I think he's basing that on the fact that he's the PG Hampshire winner and nothing else. But we've seen it all year, the O'Sullivan brothers just teaming up. They're exciting to watch. And if Connor O'Sullivan is awarded his second try, it'll be because of his brother's work. Let's hear what the referee, Sam Jones, has to say. No clear grounding. So, another, yellow card another card. It's a penalty try, so we've had a few of these, and I've been well briefed by our former referee commentator now. It was a high tackle, at, if I understand this right, at the point of grounding, and it affected the grounding. So, the law as it stands, again, briefed by my former referee, if you take the player out of that contest, would the try have been scored? If the answer is yes, then it is a penalty try. So, all of a sudden, Uni, and our one point up, 17 plays 18, and again, the O'Sullivan brothers doing what they do best. That was interesting. Let to bounce. So Dill up again, a man down. And down on the scoreboard as well. So this game's heating up. There could be another penalty here if they're not careful. No, the ball is with Dill up. Test the line. Doesn't get far. I'll do it again. I'm going to spread this, however. Oh, he's just lost the handle on that. He will come back, though. Was he paying advantage? No, he wasn't. So it will be the knock on. That's his time off. There's a few sore bodies out there. It's a warm day. Number 17. Seabit just rubbing his head. I think he caught one high. It's even the noggin and old rub. 
There's a few that are, look, that are uh, welcoming this short break in play. Yep. It is quite warm out there if you're running around. It looks like uh, UWA has made another change. Here goes come off. Got to pass the halfway mark of this second stanza. Let's go. Crouch. Bind. Shut. Good scrum from the students. The ball, however, is loose. It's a penalty. Collapsed again. Scrums have been a box of all sorts today. They'll be able to put this further inside Brothers territory and take advantage of this numerical advantage they have. Oh, nice so just outside the 22. Running the ball, the students have gone out wide. The 22 shows some toe, can't get through. Come back inside now. Drew the man, but well read. Woolman taken down like a sack of potatoes, and the ball's been turned over. Juno up and water, put this on the boot, but they can get it free. Get some air. Just setting up for the kick now, are they? Use it! Bit of respite there for the brothers. Inside the last 20 for these two sides. And a bit of chat, the referee is not, he's, he's a quiet referee, Sam Jones, but as we've seen today, doesn't take much, he's given out two cards and now he's advanced the team 10 metres. And what is he just going to do, they're going to go for points, I think they might. They've only got one up, so not much of an advantage. No, he's going for points. Got a use for the relatively easy kick. Nurses it over. Extends his advantage by three. 17 plays 21. Inside the last 15 minutes for these two sides. Shallow kick, well chased, and taken well by Bromley. Driven that forward. Ball is out, and that'll be... 
and come back for the penalty. Oh, it's won by Gina Love. Why not have been great for Uni today? They got a chance to clear this out. <laughs> not rolling away. Not clearing out. Gina Love in no hurry. They are down a man. So just in front of us here, almost on halfway. Well taken. Well, gentle up, they'll run this ball. Well read though in the middle. Looking out to the right. Quick inboard pass to the six. Tries to find a way through but ends up back in the same place they started. They've gone back. And the kick again. Plenty of that today. And that will just bounce out. Well weighted kick. Inside Uni's 22. Put the pressure back on them. That's where Jindalup want the ball when they're a man down. And it looks like they are no longer a man down. So that card has come off. Oh, I should say come on. So back to 15 apiece. And while they're out, they're also ringing some changes. Connor Allen coming on. This is Johan Luau. Time's on, boys. Lost the handle on that one, well taken by Alistair Cockman for the students. He has to track this back, because Iceman, he does well. Again, back on the boot by the fullback. They're playing a bit of aerial ping pong here. Fullback to fullback. He'll go for a run, chip kick over the top. Looking for a favourable bounce. And he had a just fine touch. Good line out by Jindal up. They'll go the length of the field. Stopped halfway. The ball's out. They've gone backwards. Thought about the kick. The full will run it. They've been pushed back here, the, the brothers. Thought about the pass, and he's lost that forward. Just outside there, 22, bad place to lose it. The wind's just picked up, you can hear that in the effects mic. Make sure you stick around if you're uh, not here, and you can't get here, come down. It's a cracking crowd on the hill at the moment. We've got to have a, well, they're getting ready for a cracking contest. Associates taking on Cot. <laughs> so 
So again, both sides look like they're happy to take this break. Interesting scrum. Oh, Sullivan, quick hands. Cockman trying to find a way through. Ball comes out to the 10. They've gone out wide here. Anderson doesn't have that much support though. Quick hands again to the three. Tried to find an opening. The ball's been turned over. So we've got 30, second minute on the clock. We've probably got two, three minutes of injury time to add. No one in much of a hurry here. Come boys. Only a four point advantage to the students. Quick kick over the top, taken by the 14. To Moore, says the referee, ball's dropped. So we'll continue with this stop-start play that we've seen today. Ball's out here, Jindal up, out beyond halfway. There are only four points down. You look like a bit of a rabble at the moment. 22, oh. Got their backs in place now. Full back tries to go for a run. Slow ball by Jindal up. Well read by the students. Ball is out. Was not was off his feet. So another opportunity for Junilab to rein in this advantage. Again, it's only four points. Probably got about seven minutes to play. Eight, seven, eight minutes to play. That ball's just, no, hasn't gone out. Sent straight back from where it came from. And again, that hasn't gone out either. So we're playing ping pong again. Into the middle, the full back. Use the length of the ground. 12 shows some toe. Showed the dummy, went himself. Ball's out again. And, and Uni will not come up with it. There's a call there from the touch judge. 
Kicking the rock. Kicking the rock. You heard that? So University doing everything they can to get Dinlop back in this game. Here we go. Inside. So that's. Ten from halfway. You just feel the gentle up. Keep keep pressing here. You feel it. It's just a matter of time. Probably got about five six minutes remaining with some injury time to be added. Oh, that's a bit of a dog's breakfast of a line out. And Uni have come up with it. So relieving pressure. I just need a good scrum, get the ball out. Get it down the other end. Let's go, boys. Bang on the ten. Crouch. Bind. Set. Great scrum from Gentle Up. Fantastic scrum, and they pumped. So again, University leaving the door open. You heard that from referee Sam Jones, pretty clear. He's been hot on that from the start. Scrum down again, and why wouldn't you? After that last effort. Bit of fire in the eyes from Judah up. You need just no interest in getting to this to pack this scrum with any urgency. It's probably four minutes remaining, four or five minutes. Crouch. Can you hold out? Uh, will Judah up finally break Check. through? Good scrum again from Jindal up into the middle of the ground. Long sweeping pass, and he's dropped it to 15. It was well read in the end by the Jindal up runner. And some relieving, relieving relief from the pressure there. They'll be inside Jindal up's territory with just a few minutes remaining. That's what I want to keep it for the next three, four minutes. Only a four-point advantage doesn't help him much. Take two. Inside red time now. 
Can Gillum find something? Can Uni hold on? Another great scrum from Gillum. Desperately wanted to get inside Uni territory. They'll need to run this. Kicking's not going to give him much. Out on that far corner. That far side is through. He's through one, through the second, can't get through the third. And it's turned over. Relieving kick from the students and needs this to find touch. And it does. Probably no more than two, three minutes left. back on. Gene Lutt made a good line out here. They've gone short. Need to be cleaned. Good run. Draw the man, they've got to use the length of the ground here. Quick feet, quick hands. Just cleaned up by the 11. He's going to, oh, he's fallen over. It's Zeisman. Quickly gone. That was not a good option. I'll go backwards. Out to the far edge. They do have an oval. They did have an overlap. The ball's turned over. Bit of how's your mum? between the 19 Wallace that was of uni and the referees just called time off here we've got to play it down that was that was the man on the end of the Zeiss tackle Zeissman tackle you wouldn't think there'd be much left probably one more play Looks worse for where so his day is done. Hopefully his side can hold out for a remaining minute or two. He's looking uh, very proper. You might have caught one of the head. Plenty of commentary Great. from the boys there. Alistair Cockman coming off. Hopefully he can remember it, especially if his side remains on top. Good, strong drive there from Judel up. You need to come out of it though. They just need to hold on to this ball, keep it down that end. Chip kick over the top. It's a foot race, it will go dead. Gillap. Gone for the go went for the quick kick. They need to run the length of the field almost. They can't afford a mistake here. They need to move this ball as quickly as possible. Again testing the line. Not sure if it's going to work out for them. Off green, release! You need just have to be clean. No penalties. Oh 
you know, back towards the broadcast side. Again, testing the line. They're not going anywhere. Treading water, other brothers. Good defensive effort from the students. The ball's out. <laughs> but knocked forward. No, he's dived on it. Quick start from the brothers. Tries to find a way through. He got through two, got through three. The turn, he's through again. Clay Ewan, he's been a playmaker for the brothers all day. Needs some support. Here it comes. Inside, immediately taken. Rory O'Sullivan with a fantastic tackle. And they've turned it over. No, they haven't. Can't be much left. Gentle up in no hurry here. Surely this must be the last play. Scrum, boys. Scrum down. Last play. It is last play. It's our last roll of dice for the brothers. Uni just have to be clean. Battle to kick won't do it. They need a try. Gillab have to take a risk you'd expect. They have to run this ball. All or nothing. Catch! Decent scrum from the brothers straight through. 16 wants to go straight away. Darcy Wilson, sorry. No, get back. He's good, he's got back. To Ali, again. Apologies for pronunciations today. They're going to go to this broadcast side. Oh, he's got good quick hands, the number two. He just needs to find some space. They've made 15. Ewan. Taken immediately was the four. Well read. You need to be clean here. The skipper does his bit. We're going to go back towards us now. Show and go. Got through the second. Can't get through. Sorry, got through the first. Can't no, get through the second. Too late. Too late. Slow ball. The three's lost it, and that should be it. University our championship premiers for 2020. Make sure you stay tuned. Log on for the premiership coming up very shortly. Coming right up.